a global decentralized, over-the-counter or OTC market for the trading of currencies is known as the foreign exchange market, Forex, FX, or currency market. For every currency, exchange rates are set by this market. It covers all facets of purchasing, selling, and exchanging currencies at established or current rates. It is by far the biggest market in the world in terms of trade volume, followed by the credit market. In today's video we will learn about what the Forex market is, in simple language. At Finance Doc, we will be sharing more explanation videos related to cryptocurrencies, trading, Forex and many more. So watch this video till the end and hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notifications for our future videos. So let's begin the video. Participants in the Forex market, including banks and individuals, are able to purchase, sell, or swap currencies for speculative and hedging purposes. The Forex market, which comprises banks, commercial enterprises, central banks, investment management organizations, hedge funds, small-time Forex brokers, and investors, is the largest financial market in the world. The Forex market is a 24-hour market, which means it doesn't close at night, from Monday morning in Asia to Friday afternoon in New York. From Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the Forex market is open. This contrasts with markets like equities, bonds, and commodities, all of which shut down for a while, typically in the late afternoon EST. There are exceptions, as there are with most things, though. Throughout the trading day, some currencies from emerging markets close temporarily. History of the Forex market Currency pegs to precious metals, such as gold and silver, existed prior to World War I. After the Second World War, the system broke down, and the Bretton Woods Accord took its place. Three multinational organizations were established as a result of the agreement to promote global economic activity. These were among them. International Monetary Fund, IMF. General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade, GATT. International Bank for Reconstruction and Development, IBRD. The U.S. dollar took the place of gold as the world currency's peg under the new arrangement. The American government pledged to have similar gold reserves to back up currency supplies. But in 1971, U.S. President Richard Nixon announced a temporary suspension of the dollar's ability to be converted into gold, rendering the Bretton Woods arrangement obsolete. Since currencies can now choose their own peg, supply and demand on global markets determines their value. Types of Forex Markets There are three key types of Forex Markets, Spot, Forward and Futures. Spot Forex Market The immediate exchange of money at the current exchange rate between buyers and sellers is known as the Spot Market. The majority of currency trading takes place on the spot market. Commercial, investment, and central banks, as well as traders, brokers, and speculators, are some of the major players in the spot market. Large commercial and investment banks, which trade for both themselves and their clients, make up a sizable percentage of spot trades. Forward Forex Market in the forward markets, two parties contract to exchange a currency for a specified amount and at a specified price at a future date. When the deal is started, no money is exchanged. The two parties can be organizations, people, governments, or something similar. For hedging, forward markets are helpful. 
On the negative side, forward markets are largely illiquid and lack centralized trading, since there are just the two parties. There is also counterparty risk, which is the possibility that the other party will stop paying. Futures Forex Market In terms of their fundamental operation, futures markets are comparable to forward markets. The main distinction is that futures markets make use of controlled exchanges. The absence of counterparty risks for either side is made possible by controlled exchanges. By contrast to forward markets, this ensures that futures markets are quite liquid. Big players in the Forex market. The most traded currency without a doubt is the US dollar. The euro comes in second, followed by the Japanese yen in third. The biggest trader in the currency market is JP Morgan Chase. 10.8% of the world's forex market is held by Chase. For the past few years, they have dominated the market. UBS is in second place with 8.1% of the market. The final three positions in the top five are occupied by XTX Markets, Deutsche Bank and Citigroup. Key takeaways. Participants in the Forex market, such as banks, funds, and individuals, are able to buy, sell, or swap currencies for speculative and hedging purposes. Every day, trillions of dollars are traded on the currency market, which is open 24 hours a day, 5.5 days a week. Forex trading carries a high risk and potential for large gains. The interbank market and the over-the-counter OTC market are the two layers that make up the currency market. With just $100, many Forex accounts can be opened. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on our upcoming videos.